When you have a goal worth achieving, you will need to achieve breakthroughs. Breakthroughs that take you outside of your comfort zone. Let me share with you how your neurochemicals are empowering you and four reasons that this is important for you and your success. Meet your happy chemicals. Now, before we start this exercise, I think that I should share a little about your happy chemicals in your brain. When you understand the role of these five neurochemicals, you'll understand why you have to get out of your comfort zone to experience happiness. You see, everyone says that they want happiness, but happiness is not a destination. It's an experience you feel along the journey as you make significant progress towards a goal that is meaningful for you. Neuroscience research has shown us that our happy chemicals, particularly dopamine, are more abundant as we move towards the achievement of our goal. Once we've achieved our goal, our happy chemical production reduces. Every step towards your goal, one that is meaningful for you, triggers more dopamine. The good feelings distract you from any bad feelings you may have had. But the day will come when the habit of moving towards that particular goal disappoints. The same old reward may fail to mask negative feelings and self-defeating talk, meaning you seek a bigger reward to trigger more dopamine. Hence, you have to stretch yourself continuously, and as you grow out of your comfort zone, stretch it again. The second reason you need to move beyond your comfort zone is to grow as a person. I remember when I was something of a fitness freak, going to the gym, running, playing, rugby, skiing, and so on. In order to develop my fitness and build muscles, I had to work out, and I had to work out a lot. Every time stretching myself a little more, running just a little further or faster, lifting a little more weight or more repetitions swimming more laps. Nowadays, if I don't get a few decent swims in every week, I'll still grow. Just not in the way I would want. Physical exercise triggers endorphin production, another happy chemical in the brain, though this one is one that relieves pain. Thus, exercising makes you feel good, but quickly the same amount of exercise doesn't trigger enough endorphins, so you exercise more, which creates more pain, or you do something tougher to get the same feel-good feeling. The same is true if you want to build character, personality, improve skills, strengthen relationships. People who stretch themselves deliberately and regularly grow more. Only when you develop new skills, behaviours or thinking does your brain create new neural pathways. To grow as a person, you'll need to develop these new connections and strengthen them. When you take on a new intellectual challenge that is painful for you, you will get a similar, though usually smaller, endorphin rush. The more you push, the more you trigger. Thirdly, you can never conquer fear if you don't face it. Moving out of your comfort zone is fearful. The anticipation of embarking on a plan to achieve a goal that stretches you triggers the fearful chemicals in the brain. Your amygdala, the emotional center of your brain, sends out a red alert to all the brain. Your hypothalamus and pituitary gland inform your adrenal glands to produce cortisol. Cortisol causes your heart to race, your palms to sweat, breathing to become shallow, and your digestive tract to shut down that butterflies in the stomach feeling, as your body is prepared to respond to the threat. You'll freeze, or run away, or stay to fight. The classic and most typical response when you fear is about actioning on your goals is procrastination. The freeze response to fear. Too much cortisol messes with your memories in your hippocampus, fragmenting memory and often associating something relatively benign with something genuinely fearful. Producing dopamine or endorphins enable you to ignore or cope with the bad feelings generated by cortisol and adrenaline. If you don't stretch yourself, stay in your comfort zone, well, you'll not have to face that fear, will you? Until one day, that is, when someone or something else invades your very own comfort zone. Fear is the one thing that stops most people achieving their goals. It could be as simple as the fear of an embarrassment. Oh, I'll look silly if I try and fail. Very often, people know that they lack certain skills that, at least according to their CV, they are supposed to have in abundance. And if they stretch their own goal, they might just get found out. And what has been a comfort zone until now is no longer comfortable. There are two enemies to achieving your goal that you should be ready for. They are if only and what if. If only looks back at yesterday and the mistakes made, whilst what if looks to tomorrow and casts doubt on ourselves and our abilities. These two are enemies of your success. Your success is in the present. It's your gift to yourself, and it's your gift to the world. Lastly, you have to move out of your comfort zone to lead and influence others positively. 
Tell me, who do you respect more? A person who is happy and successful, who is passionate and driven, and does great things for themselves, other people, their family, their organisation, their church, their world. Or the guy who sits alone in a bar, moaning and complaining about how life has conspired to deal him a bad deck of cards, and that you should really give him everything you have because he deserves it, and you don't. The brain chemicals most in play here are oxytocin and serotonin. Oxytocin is a brain chemical that makes you feel loved, protected and safe. When you admire someone and trust them, that feeling of trust is oxytocin. Serotonin is triggered when you feel respected by others and you feel pride. As with all our happy chemicals, next time you need more input to trigger sufficient good feeling. You see, there are leaders who influence others in a negative way. I think of them as the miserable lost. They scoff at anyone who tries to do more. They blame everyone by themselves for their predicament. They haven't a good word to say about anyone. And there are a few people who lead and influence others positively. They are self-confident, passionate, driven, and speak into the lives of others. They edify others, building them up, knowing full well that you can be just as successful and happy as they are. If you align yourself to your purpose, move out of your comfort zone, and accomplish great things, which one do you want to be?